Welcome to how to create a physics based door. In previous videos I've talked about the physics constraint component. In this video I'm going to show you how you can use it to make a door that is physics enabled so you can push it open with the force of the player character. So in here I've already made my door. So my door here is quite simple, it's just a door mesh and a door frame mesh. And I've given the door mesh a physics uh, uh, collision box. And the door frame here I've turned collisions off because you don't want the door clipping into it and getting stuck. So as I said we're going to make the physics constraint here. So I'm going to type in constraint and you'll see the physics constraint there. Now the physics constraint we're going to position at the point where we want the hinge of the door to be. I'm just going to move that over here roughly like so. I'm going to go into the component list on the right hand side for the physics constraint and type in the name of my door. So I'm going to go static mesh and I want static mesh one. Not one. There we go. And that will highlight the door for me, indicate that that has been locked into place with the physics constraint. So now we're going to change how it constrains what. And we're doing a hinge door here, so we're constraining the uh, rotation of it. And if we go down to the constraints angular limits, you can change the swing one motion, swing two motion, and twist motion from free, limited, or locked. I'm going to turn off twist motion to locked, and I'm also going to turn off swing two motion to locked. You'll be left with swing one, and you know which this is the right one because the disc you can see here is dem a demonstration of the angle of movement that this thing can have. So this will swing on the yaw 360 degrees. So I'm going to leave that like that and hit compile. And if I go and test that into the game, you'll see I can push the door open. Like so. Now because that angle limit is set to, th uh, to th be free in that um, in that uh, constraint, it's going to just spin around endlessly. However, we can go onto our door here and we can change the limited angle we have here. So I'm swing one motion and change that to limited. And you can see now the angular uh, movement that this door will allow. So I'm going to change that to 180. Actually, let's do a little bit less than that. Do 160. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, 160. Uh, do uh, 80. There we go. Because uh, it's a half angle. So this 80 here. Oops. Um, we're going to rotate that around to be facing the correct way. So let's rotate that around. Like so. And it should indicate the movement of the door. That's what you're looking for there. Compile and save that. And we should now see our door will be limited in which way they can turn. I can push it this way. Like so. And the last thing we're going to do here is make the door auto close behind us so it won't just stay open it will actually shut itself so in my door i'm going to go to the constraints go down to angular motor and i've changed angular drive motor from slurp to twist and swing because that's what we're using we're using swings over here so on here we're going to tick on swing and the strength we're going to leave it's 50. the target orientation is the rotation that you want it to follow now zero 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 is where we want it to be so i'm hit compile and let's push play and watch what happens so if i push this door open it will start swinging itself shut and that angular motor is like drawing it in okay it's like and you'll see it pulling it closer and closer to zero so now we've got a door that will swing open and then close itself and you can customize even further things to this thing so i'm going to the door i can change the strength of this i can also go to the actual mesh itself and change how its physics work too so if I go to the Felix here, I can change the weight of it maybe. I can also change its angular dampening as well. So I can go to angular dampening and turn that up to 10 for example. And we should see an effect on our door's movement. You see it shuts the door a lot quicker. Okay, so angular dampening is sort of like the friction of the angles that it can rotate. Now you have a physics based door. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like more of this content, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. You can find more of this stuff, plus many, many other videos, all before anyone else for just $1 a month.
Big shout out, thank you to all my patrons for their support. It really is amazing. Thank you, thank you so, so much. That's all from me, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.